Guys, Tuni here, back with another video, and in this video, we got my April 2020 haul. So, back here with another month, another anime haul. Super excited, I picked up a ton of things. This is like my birthday month, I got a little bit more. So I got figures, Blu-rays, a ton of posters, clothing, I got a lot of merch. So this one's gonna be really bad. If you wanna see any type of more merch videos, definitely subscribe, I have so many more planned. So let's just start off with the first topic. We got the Blu-rays. So here we got When They Cry, complete series. So this is one through three. So this is like When They Cry, with then When They Cry Kai, like everything. So this was recommended to me by a lot of friends. So I'm not really the biggest horror fan. This is still sealed. So actually, let me open this up now. So I'm not really the biggest horror fan, but let a screwdriver work. Okay, good. So yeah, I'm not the biggest horror anime fan. Like, the biggest horror thing I watched was Tokyo Ghoul. And what, everyone was saying how good this was. So I'm definitely gonna check this out. And it, apparently, this one is getting a remake. And the character design is by the people who done Monogatari. So I wasn't sure if I should wait for the remake or just watch the original by Studio Dean. But then Sentai Filmworks had an amazing sale for like 55 episodes. And this really expensive blue, it was like $30. So I was like, all right, let's get it, as to the collection. And it's like, this is a very big Blu-ray. That first time opening it. All right, so like, gut look old. So the characters look pretty cool. This definitely looks pretty old. It's an, oh, that's sauce right there. Oh, okay. So definitely a ton of episodes. I've seen this character a lot. So let me know if you like When They Cry. I can't wait to check it out. Happy to own it on Blu-ray. So there we go, got the game. All right, next up, we got another Blu-ray. We have Fate Stay Night, um, another Studio Dean, and another Sentai Filmworks. Just realized that. So this actually, I got this series on Makari for pretty cheap. Uh, yeah, it's a complete series. I actually haven't watched Stay Night. I watched every single Fate route for, like, I watched Heaven's Feel. I watched the two movies on Playworks. I watched like all the other stuff, but I haven't seen the original Stay Night by Dean. So I was like, all right, let's get the Blu-ray. So boom, there we go. So I got this on a really good deal. So I got the entire Fate Stay Night. Oh, that glare is terrible. So I normally make separate manga haul videos, but I just want to throw this in real quick. So we got Angel Beats Heaven Door. So this is by Seven Seas and Angel Beats. You already know I love Angel Beats. But like, this is like a spin-off manga. So there's a problem with um, Heaven's Door. So it's apparently like 77 chapters and it never finished. So there's only like, this is the only volume in English. So I basically got it for collector purposes. So I'm definitely still gonna read it, but it's like incomplete story. So like right there. It's an all new prequel series. So I wish this was complete. I'm pretty sure there's fans translation. So I'll have to check out the translations. All right, so this is actually really cool. This even is a bonus as one of the things I bought. I'm actually gonna show you this at the end, but I bought this, but well, I didn't buy this. It was an extra, I'm super cool. So. This is um, key 15th anniversary soundtrack, and it's like have clan ad in it as well. So if you see on the back, got a ton. So like if you got even Angel Beats, they like, got uh, um, My Soul Your Beat. They got a ton of key music. So I'm, I'm a big fan of key. I, I need to watch clan ad. I very very much need to watch clan ad. I only experience Angel Beats and Charlotte, and they're pretty normal. I want to check out Little Busters. I want to check out clan ad. And Angel Beats first beat it got translated, so I would definitely want to check that out as well. And there's so much key I need in my life. This is obviously really cool, and it got Rebirth and one of their visual novels. So you got right there. People say Rebirth is like one of their favorite. Then if you flip it over, okay, you got the Clan Ad section, but for some reason I'm down, and I put Clan Ad in a separate little CD thing. But look at that. So. This is a pretty cool collection as a key fan, even though I'm not the biggest fan. It's like, I'm a big fan of what I've seen. I definitely need to watch more. So there we go. Alright, here is the first figure we got. Alright, we have Asta from Black Clover. So this is a really nice figure. This is by Van Presto. Such a great price for the figure. Honestly, it looks really good. This is his demon form. I started reading the manga. I'm really enjoying it. I'm on volume 10. 
uh, yeah, so I'm really, really enjoying it. I can't wait to see what happens more. This series just has been getting better and better. So I'm really blown away by this figure because they've been going, Black Clover been going on for such a long time, even the anime, but there's barely any merchandise. So finally to see a figure for it is great. And there's like, you know, Crunchyroll dropped some merchandise as well. So very good figure. All right, we got another figure. We get, oh wow. Well, okay, I gotta pick up the tripod for this one. We have Deku from Heroes Rising. So obviously I got this figure mainly because of his new outfit. And I haven't read in the manga. I'm on season five. I'm, I'm just started my hero, um, my villain academia. So I'm like the second part of season five. Season five is gonna be banger. I'm letting you know. So Deku with the new gloves that he fought in Gentle with, and his gloves are really clean. I love the design. This is actually the only figure with his new gloves. So I had to get it. This is his most updated outfit. I'm pretty sure that little like energy thing that's not supposed to go there. I just put it there for some reason. So yeah, another great figure. Um, a problem I do have with it, the stand is huge. But it makes it look good against my other taller figures. I'm definitely happy with Deku. Okay, I'm gonna have to hold up the camera again. But wow, this figure, I'm so happy to own. We have... Oh, Makise Kurisu from Steins Gate scale figure. So this is official. So we've got Makise Kurisu. If you haven't noticed, Steins Gate is my favorite anime of all time. And to own a figure of such like high detail is amazing. And I got such a great price for it. It's like, look at the gears. I just take a look at those gears. Looks so good. So, yeah, in my opinion, Mayuri's best girl. But obviously you can't hate on Kurisu. And before some of y'all say it's fake, since you know, this figure is pretty common for having fakes. Let me just show you right here. Got the official, and then that's my number. So, so do you know, Moxie Kurisu is real. So yeah, this picture looking pretty nice. Definitely a stacked haul, but we are not done. I picked up a few more posters and clothing. Let's get on to that. All right, above my little recording setup, I got these posters. So these are really clean. They're 13 by 19 inches. I got these from a card, but I put them in these nice frames by Ultra Pro. Like, you know those little trading cards? how you have those Ultra Pro top loaders. These are basically top loaders for posters. The first up we got Demon Slayer, Dragon Ball Super, we got Fate, ignore the light, I hate that yellow light by the way. So we got Saber from Fate, we got Mob Psycho, and Kurisu again. So super clean, I love these so much. I have five more frames, so I'm probably gonna buy some more, like probably stack them on top. I have a lot of ideas. All right, then we got this Angel Beats cloth like poster. So this is very good quality. We got the Angel Beats game. We got Yuri, Otonashi, and Kanade. Right there, this is Angel Beats. This is official. You can see right there. So this is super nice. I haven't hanged up with command strips. So that's good, I didn't like thumbtack it or anything. Looks super nice and official. So happy to own this too. Especially since Angel Beats is like an older anime. Love the Grow My Collection. For the last thing, I thought I'd show this off. We got this the Goku hoodie. I thought it was pretty cool. I picked this up from a New York street wear shop. If you didn't know I'm in New York City, and this is a pretty good brand in New York. So we got this Goku right here. It's like it's like a patch like design. You can see right there. We got two percent blue Goku and like to like 16 bit, and it says like Rebel Society with some Japanese text. Nothing crazy. It's not too flashy. I love clothing like this because like it's simple. It's not too flashy, and it shows like my love anime and dragon ball so pretty cool i'm a big fan of it all right so thank you so much for watching this was my april 2020 anime haul i'm gonna try to have a manga one come up pretty soon as well because i have some manga pickups as well just waiting for everything to arrive so thank you so much for watching subscribe watch this video and peace what do you do Stay